Hello, greetings from King Cole. I'm Susan, as you know, and this is Joanne. Joanne. <laughs> it's, this is what happens when we have time off. Yeah, from we work. should have time off, should we? We both go like. Right, yeah. so today we're introducing to you the Celestial Super Chunky. Um, it's got eight shades. It's 99% premium acrylic, 1% polyester, which is the sparkle, which we'll show you in a moment. Um, there's 110 metres or 120 yards per 100 gram ball. You've got 10 millimetre needles, which is US 15. And it's a 30 degree wool wash. Um, we're recommending that you dry flat and do, you can dry clean if you wish, but do not iron, do not tumble dry, and do not bleach. Okay. So lots of don'ts. <clears throat> lots of don'ts. So treat it gently, um, but you'll see why in a minute. Yeah. So we've got this lovely new colour palette in. Um, I'll start with the mustardy one because that generally is my favourite. We've Because we've called it Celestial, um, there's some fun names to go with the different colours. So this one is Venus um, and it's a lovely mustard with, hopefully you can see, there's a very, very slight sparkle running through. Yeah, so if I can see it. If you want something a, for a bit special for winter or around the Christmas period or a gift, then this little bit of sparkle I think just makes that. Um, I, I did, I've actually tried one, I'll mention it in a minute, I've tried one in one of the different colours <laughs> yeah. for a, that would work well as a, as a gift. So this one is Jupiter and as you can see it's a lovely... Um, like a lovely olive green, I yeah. think that one's a really nice colour. It is, it is, that will work really well um, for a lot of people, I think that, that particular shade. Um, then we've got the lovely, lovely bright pink, this is called Nebula this one um all the gold running through it sorry all the sparkle running through is gold colored uh, i don't think any of them have a, a silver it, it's all gold so just to point that one out um next we've got mars of course which is classed as the red planet yes so of we've course got, we've got red with the little sparkle gold sparkle running through that and I'll yep. let Susan pick and this color one. now is actually called Mercury. I'm waiting for it to be an awkward name, <laughs> right? <laughs> and that's really a nice kind of, what would you say, like, almost like a lapisy blue yeah, color, yeah. like a royal blue. It's not like a navy. No. It's more of a... It's got, it's got a certain purple. I was just thinking that, a purplish to hue to it. Yeah, it's quite it nice. Been. And this one to me is a lovely kind of silverly gray color. Yeah. And it is called Moonlight. And I really like that. Yeah. Do you think this one has gold or a bit of no, silver? No, it's gold. They're all yeah. different oh, gold. And yeah, they that are. one, I did a little test thing before we'd done the designs with um, a cowl, a lacy type cowl. That, it that worked lovely. really well. Yeah, it I is. Was, it's really super soft yeah. too. So and that's sort of a, a Christmas knit side here. Yeah. <laughs> We're giving you ideas already. <laughs> yeah. And then this one is called Space Black. And it's obviously black with gold. The gold really stands out on it the black. Does, I and I think that would be a really elegant, mm -hmm. like, you know, if you wanted to wear something on a winter time going out, like. Yeah. Big, big jumpers and cardigans and slouches very in at the minute. Yes. For, yeah, a nice slouchy back jumper over sort of leggings or jeans. Yeah, for, sorry, I'm not putting things back neat and tiny. I'm not making my I, I am, I'm making a mess. <laughs> <laughs> and this one here. It's star white, and again, you can see the gold thread running through, and I think it's a classic colour. They it all is. are. I think and there's I'll something for everybody in, in that colour range. Um, <laughs> you can't take me anywhere. Right. Oh, go on, okay, start. I'll go first, right? It's 6067, and it's like a jumper and a cardigan, and it's like a boat neck, so it's, I think that's quite nice. And would you say it's in double moss stitch? Uh, do you, I can't remember on this one. Let me have a closer look. I think it is. I think yeah, it is it, too. We'll have a look. Um, Let's have a look at the cardigan yeah, first, right? Sense. With the lovely big buttons. The buttons are also ours as uh, well. No, that one isn't. Oh, it's, oh sorry. No, sorry. No, sadly, there's a few in this one that are not. Um, yep. So, yep. But but we do have We've some got big lots of lovely buttons. I'm not yeah, quite sure why, why that was a thing. But anyway. Never mind. Well, thanks for telling me, right? <laughs> and I think yeah. it's lovely with the nice kind of like it's like a bit of a shawl collar, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Like it really. is. Um, and just a couple of buttons at the front so that um, it oh, doesn't. It's are not the meant sleeves to kind of done? Um, are the raglan sleeves? I don't know. I can't find a seam. Can you find a seam? Oh, there is a seam. There's a seam. There is a seam. I know. Not, Sorry, it's not just... raglan. It's a setting. 
Exactly. Whoever did it did a fantastic they job did. They did. because I didn't know then yeah. I was going to tell you what kind of sleeves they were and I couldn't are tell. Kind of down here on the lady, so they're quite a drop sleeve. A oh, drop the shoulder. drop sleeves, yes, yeah. I can see it now. Yeah. So um, yeah, but it's beautifully it knit, is. and I love that. I mm. just think I like the bottom. I think mm. this one would be fairly straightforward if you have some experience, but I wouldn't say beginner knits. No. None of these are, no. but I do think that one's quite yeah. quite nice. And then you've got the jumper. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm trying not to bend too far down today because we're already kind of there with the boat neck and the garter stitch. So yeah. that one's really straightforward again. Yeah, exactly. And it has dropped sleeves on this one because I can yeah. actually see a slight seam if yeah. you look carefully. And the, the nice thing with this kind of neckline is you can sew it a bit further in or leave it a bit wider depending on what you want. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> but we do recommend over sewing wherever you stop sewing. We recommend you do a little extra over yeah. sewing, either inside or outside, depending on whether you want it to be a little bit of a feature or not. Because um, otherwise, you have a drop shoulder effect. Yeah, and it, it whether you want it, it or not. Strength, yes, it, it does. Extra I think that's there. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. God, they feel so heavy, they, but I think did. it's because I've been like <clears throat> renovating the house and. <laughs> <laughs> right, six oh six four. Um, these are two oh, quite classic it. jumpers. There's a they polo are. neck and a, and a round neck. Just a round neck and a polo neck. So I'll neck. start with the, the polo neck one. So these are a raglan sleeve and when I get back to fit properly, you've got a lovely polo neck there. So that's really And these are easy knits too. Yes, these these are definitely easy because it's basically stock and stitch. Stock and stitch with a one by one rip. Yeah, so yeah. nothing nothing too technical. On there, yeah, but a classic. Yeah, and with it being chunky, there isn't actually that much decreasing to do. Actually, sorry, super chunky. Yeah. Um, so that was the red one, and then then the classic black. Yeah. So just as well they're easy knits, because anyone who's knitted with black will tell you black is not easy to no, knit with. No, you can easily go wrong. So yeah, um, yeah, I think it's a good one to do. A good shout but for the black. Just bear in mind on this one, this particular one, the. Um, rib is done afterwards. Ah, so we have another one off, like that. Yeah, we don't have many, do we, that do, yeah. do this? Uh, you cast on just a few stitches and then you keep increasing while you're doing your stocking stitch, and then afterwards you go back and actually add the ribbing on at the bottom. Um, now, with this one, we've sewn it right to the bottom, but you could actually leave the sides open if you wanted. It's, it's just another little option yeah. for you on that one, but um, yeah, so it's slight good. curved. Bottom, yeah, to good one. to point out because otherwise people will be phoning up saying there's there's you a mistake. The rib. <laughs> yeah, um, no, we haven't. Honest, we haven't. <laughs> we know. Yeah. Okay, sure. Okay, yeah. Sure. <clears throat> okay the next one here is six oh six six, and it's like I think in America they're called like baseball type tops, mm. right? Mm. And then there's also another roll neck, and it's kind of like a ribbon, isn't it? I'll mm. get one up to show you. Yeah, it's a very very. Chunky. I think it's only two by two rib. Is it a two by two rib? But it's really effective. Yeah. yeah. In so it has gives. So even I'm, it does stretch. Yes. I mean I'm only a petite person, yeah. right? But just to <clears throat> let you know, even mm. though when I hold it up and it looks narrow, but just then. Yeah, it really does. It does stretch, and it's lovely it, that it goes that blue. to your shape. So if you're somebody who's got a lovely slim waist, then it really curve in and accentuate Ooh, that. Who has a waist still? Some people. Some people do. <laughs> Yeah, that's yes. positive. Some people yeah, do. some people do, but <laughs> yeah. it also hides a multitude of sins in saying that too, it right? Yeah. Because I think that would look nice on. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's uh, and then there's the the round oh, version as well. With a big yeah, I like this one mm. actually. Oh, it's folded down and sewed, so it's neat it's and so tidy. Yeah. I like that effect a lot with the raglan sleeves as well, yeah. and also like. I think they must have used a slightly small needle to give it the bottom. They quite often do, yes. Yeah, yeah. to give it a nice mm -hmm. shape at the bottom. And again, it is stretchy, so don't yeah. be thinking it won't fit. No. Okay, no. but I do like that. I always think that's so much neat and tidier sometimes when you have to yeah. kind of cast off. Yeah. Mm, It'd yeah, be warm in like this. It. You would. Yeah, you without would. a doubt. That, but that's a good thing. Right. Okay. okay, then the next one, 6063, and we've got a multicoloured sweater and a multicoloured cardigan. This one I would say is not an easy knit because there's quite a bit of texture going on in that one. I think it's beautifully knit as well this yeah. one. And you can do these plain remember you just need to it's a little bit more guesswork on to how much yarn you need. Um, 
so it's an edge to edge one yeah. and then it's got your gap stitch bottom a little bit of stocking stitch and then it goes into I like the texture with the it it's, it's yeah. like a moss stitch it's like a moss stitch yes yes I think it's two it, it's a looks like two by one so you're doing knit one pearl one but you're doing it for two yeah yeah for the height of two rows I think that's how they've worked this one and then a nice plain simple stocking sleeve stitch. yeah inset sleeves um, too yeah so you've got a bit of a stripe effect going on at the back yeah and then note that the fronts are not evenly knit so you've yeah got that's deliberate it's supposed to look like that yeah, that's intentional yeah. so depending on whether you can cope with things looking odd you may or may not <laughs> like that just, just one of those people who can't cope with things not matching up um <clears throat> yeah, and some then people the do is the same thing where you can see yeah. quite clearly that the the colors are offset so a nice you can you know, really see the simple. gold thread in the black on that yeah. one it looks really nice you can yeah so yeah i think um oh, slightly more intermediate than than total beginner because actually where you match don't forget you've got to wrap your yarns you have to around twist this other. yeah <clears throat> there so that they don't um that you don't yeah. end up with gaping holes so if you look online there's lots of like videos on the entirety of shows there you is. how to do that there so, so yeah that's that one. okay and this one too is 6068 there's like I think that's absolutely lovely I'll hold it up in a mm -hmm. minute and there's also the roll neck version not roll neck collared version on yeah. the back we know mm -hmm. okay and here we go I'm gonna hold it up mm -hmm. and you can see here sorry we should have this on me but it's too warm today yeah and the, you can yeah. see quite often on this style there's, there's buttons and things used um on the neck but not on this one although you could put a decorative yeah. button on if you wish um you know it's it's up to you on that one or a brooch or you know if you it's have something a, to... a really slouchy one this yeah. but like around yes. the house on a cold winter day you know yeah. with like i don't I'd know christmasy I'd say it is christmasy. christmasy i know it's red anyway which we do tend to associate with christmas but yeah, yeah that could be your, your slouchy christmas day or boxing day sweater yes definitely for, when for you want to go for a walk or something yeah. and you want to wrap up one yeah. and it's also a white version and the white one is very textured it is so wow it, is it ever yeah. yeah this one is definitely a, a more intermediate i would mix. say so because it almost looks like it goes up at a diagonal it depending yeah. it's like different illusions depending yeah, on how is. you look at it and the uh, the neck is lovely i really do like i the like this. this one i do um i think that's a beautiful effect because it's not too high but it has that sort of illusion yeah. of, of being a little stand-up collar and it's not really but um i think it works it works really it works well really i like well. that a lot so uh, so yeah that's, yeah that's another one and i think this is probably my favorite out mm -hmm. of them all yeah again like, I think that's with this lovely. one as well you could do because uh, it's a it's a set in sleeve so you could miss the sleeves and do a nice little vest a little, a little vest version because yeah. vests are very very in aren't they they are um, the and the final the thing the thing we like the most oh no we have one, no, more. one I'm more jumping ahead yeah. jumping ahead 6065 there is a cardigan, oh, there's a waistcoat. A cardigan and a round neck waistcoat so, i like the waistcoat um yeah i did too. I, I like waistcoats. Um, See, so waistcoats yeah. are for people like me that overheat. Yeah, lovely little <laughs> chunky waistcoat. Buttons that only oh. go part way down. I really like um, that. Again, if you wanted, you could leave the sides. I open. would. Um, I think that's a really yeah. lovely option that's come out recently. You could even but make it a little bit longer, but just mm -hmm. take into account the yarn. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I take it back. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Like, oh. I'd wear that. Um, well, then, there's lots of things I'd wear. Yeah. There's not enough there hours is, in a day. No. Either to knit them or wear them. Yes. Yeah. So this is a nice... Oh, that's a classic, classic cardigan. cardigan. Really classic. Um, again, lovely yeah. v-neck on it. Um, just some nice chunky buttons. Very oh. simple. Would work well over so many different outfits. Um, it's not a raglan sleeve but it's a little bit oh that yeah way and inclined there is actually a proper, uh, a proper shoulder on the shoulder so it's not a, so it hangs on your raglan. right um but this one has quite a lot of decreasing which is a bit unusual when you've got one that isn't an actual yeah. raglan sleeve a lot of them are only half a dozen rows or something like that otherwise but anyway that's, that's that one i've got to go i like this 
Yeah. <laughs> we might be seeing her in that one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. do like that. Okay. okay, now we have the accessories, which is what yeah. we've been waiting for. Mm. The accessories at 6069. I think that I I think that reminds me of a football scarf. I was scarf. gonna say it's almost a football scarf, but not quite because yeah, it's, it it's in squares rather than stripes yes. and a lot of football. And there's lots of lovely accessories with this, like yeah. and the cowl. Yes. I'm going to show them all now because there's mm. scarves, there's hats, yeah. there's wait, these, I don't know what these are called, but they're, are they like a tar bar that you wear under your coat to give the effect of wearing like a roll neck jumper? Yeah, so if you have a coat that won't really work for, as in you can't fit a chunky jumper underneath it, but it's quite cool, you can make one of these and, and it just kind of fits into that v-neck like area. almost like a blazer effect winter coat yeah. where it doesn't go all the way up so you're a bit mm. cold yeah. but you want something to keep your chest so that, warm that's one for for that yeah um so here times get asked about so what what's this for and that's what it's for it's instead of a scarf yeah um for that type of coat or jacket and it's a simple carter stitch yeah that's the most simple one Anybody yeah can anyone can do this one you know those. something to give like the grandchildren or something to do yeah. on christmas day like here you go yes right yeah and then there's a and the hat. hat. Oh, oh, did that hat go? That with might go over. Shh, shh. Didn't see it. That didn't see it. One of the other, um, one of the other jumpers. Oh, actually. and here we go. This is what we mean. I'm not going to yeah. put it on, but this is what we are talking about. Where you, mm. it's, so it's, it's a, a roll neck collar on it. You roll it down. You just Sorry, pop I'm doing it a mess over. Of it. And then and you it, just pop it over like that. Yeah. And it keeps you nice and warm yeah, in the front. It keeps this bit. It won't stand up, but your your neck will support it. It will. Yeah. So yeah, they they are quite useful. Okay, mm -hmm. and I'll put these down here. Sorry, I keep bending over here. If I fall, you know why. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and it's like a little capelet almost. Yeah, it is. And what they've done on the styling here is folded yeah. down at one side, which you could do that. You could even um, just tack it there if, if yeah. you wanted to, to give it that. So sort of one, one edge is, is folded. You've got it called distress. Yeah. Just yeah. saying. Down. Just as a bit of, of interest, but basically yeah. it's an oblong, so again, yeah. it's one that just about anybody could, could knit, is that? Well, yeah, all of these are nice and easy knit. One rib. Oops, um, okay. We're nearly went okay. over then. Mm -hmm. And then a simple hat with two colours. Yeah. We don't have the scarf. No, we've not managed to find the scarf. That's just yeah. off somewhere. Yeah, and a nice cowl. So I like cowls. I have a thing about cowls. Cause yeah, that's here. It's yeah. a lovely textured one. It is. Um, and it is, it's just garter stitch, it, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is, with a one by one rib. It kind of gives the illusion of being a lot fancier when you've got it on. It, it sort of goes yeah, on the does. I think, somehow. yeah, it does. Yeah, so there's I like an optical look. illusion on that one. That looks, you know, even more... Um, another hat. Yes, that's that one, which yes. is the garter stitch hat. It's and again, it has that illusion as well. Yep. Mm. They're yeah. lovely, these. Yeah. I think the accessories are nice, like, yeah. you know, weekend knits, I mm. call them. Something I don't have much time these days. No. I'm just going to move this it. here. Yeah. And then I have the last of... Do you want me to hold it up? Yes, please. 6070? Yep. That's it. So... And it's all hats. Six different hats. So this one is the very basic, where you've got knit two, pearl two rib, and then stocking stitch. Yep. A um, little bit of decreasing going up to the top. You could stick a bobble on that one if you wanted really easily. So yeah. that's the really basic one. Then... Um, that one looks a little more complicated. It is. But saying that, it's patches of stocking stitch and then the knit one, pearl one. Um, Oh, I don't know. Is it double moss stitch? Yeah. I think it's double moss stitch. Yeah. We can. We're looking more closely at. Yeah. I think it's double moss. But to make and it easier for de for decreasing, that's just done in garter stitch. So, good idea. You know, and again, you could easily stick a bobble on the top of that one. Yeah. Um, this one is the basket weave because it's knit two, pearl two. It's oh, I like that stitch one. effect where you're alternating, but it's yeah. knit two, pearl two. So again, that and the lovely and stretchy. They yes. are. Yes. That's so what I like about this, because some of the mm. garments, like the ones that are done like almost in a, like, the yeah. rib, feel like they'd be too tight, but they're not. Mm. There's lots to give. Now, oh, I, I like that this effect. Because this is sort of cabling, but rather than the cables all being the same, you sort of, uh, it's sort of an It's almost like circles. Thing. Yeah, so really love that. I like that um, too. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And then... Single moss. Single moss on this or, one. Or just 
yeah, moss stitch. Moss stitch. Well, yeah, same, same same you know what I mean. And again, the top's been done in gaff stitch, so that you to make don't it have easy. The, the problem with the decreasing. Then, just for a bit of fun, um, this one is... <laughs> that would be your flaps. Yeah. <laughs> for mm. skiing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and some twilled And the pigtails, as I call things. it. So that one's a fun one. There's yeah. certain people who would just love that. And, yep. you know, that's that's it. Make it for them. Um, these are then sewn in underneath. So, uh, so yeah. They're uh, the helmet version. So, that's... That's it for now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's everything. Um, yeah. So yeah, we we hope you like that. We hope you find that inspiring. And, 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 and we want um, to make this. <laughs> <laughs> I do. This one's going to be worn shortly. Yes. So yeah. Um, so show us your 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 likes and your makes. Don't forget uh, to like us on Facebook and post it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And we'll yeah, thank you for watching. See Sorry. you in the next one. I'm interrupted. <laughs> okay. So we'll see you again soon. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. I do like that. I'm serious. I, I